All right, all right. It is bench day today with some shoulders and a bit of hip thrust, but let's get started. Uh, today was a crazy, crazy day. I've got 170 kilos on the bar for two reps, and these were basically my working sets. So let's get started into the warm up sets and how I warmed up into my bench press. So, first of all, I always start with the bar because it just allows me to warm up my shoulders, warm up my chest very efficiently while I do the workout as well too. Allows my blood flow, allows me to basically get rid of any nibbles as well and I can also get some speed on it as well too while I am working with the bench press. So I love to pump out as many reps as I can on the bar until I feel confident enough to put some weights on there. Then straight up, I start to go with some heavier weight. So 60 kilos, making sure I'm in position. Uh, today, I just had a bit of a top on to start with. Generally, I probably try and train in a tanky as much as possible. Uh, my tanks are from Rider Wear Apparel. So check it out. Use my code Kwame10 to save. And the reason why I train the tanky usually for bench press is because it allows me to stick to the bench as much as possible and you guys know any sort of movement in your torso during the bench press is going to impact your weight so there's me with two plates 100 kilos uh and then i'm going up again to 120 kilos so i progressed pretty quickly because i know today that i had a lot of lower reps so i was actually ideally supposed to go for three reps uh instead what I figured out was I could only do two reps of this heavy weight today. So I got to manage myself and I just broke up those two reps in, um, into sets instead. And I ended up doing four sets uh, instead of three reps and three sets. So obviously I still missed a rep there. However, I still got to work within my capability. So uh, today I had 170 kilos. So this was my 160 kilo one rep just to test it out, see how I feel. 170 kilos. I had one of the guys in the gym today. He, um, shout out to um, Carlos. He was he offered to do a sport. But my first set over there, you can see my butt lifting off the bench. Ideally, I wouldn't actually call that a good set. So that was on my behalf, getting nice and warm. And then this was a much better one. Still always shaking the legs. I was really struggling today to get my activation my lower back was hurting a little bit from uh, after deadlifts as well my glutes were sore so i couldn't use them uh, as an advantage to stabilize but i think this was probably one of my better sets out of them just took my time and then got my control in, and that felt so much better and smoother even though yeah it was a bit of a grind but hey when is it not a grind so yeah, for me, it just got better and better because I was just sitting there analyzing my form and technique. What was I doing wrong? How can I actually better improve my sets? And I do that all the time, and I'm sure you guys probably do as well too. Uh, how If you are not performing as good as you think you should be, always go back to your form and technique and analyze it. One of the better things. So then moved on to some delts with a little bit of volume, but this was awesome because you get a nice little warm-up in, and this was brilliant. So what I was doing here was 25 reps of 25 kilos. Obviously quite easy. Um, the weight's moving pretty smoothly as well. No sense of struggle here as well. But the good thing about this was after every single set, I was going to try and increase the weight until I found my working weight that I found comfortable. But the reps were also decreasing. So our next set over here, we've got 40 kilos. I know it's a big jump, but I had... I was supposed to do um, 15 reps of this, but I think I ended up doing 18 reps of this one, which was pretty good. It felt good to me. I mean, 40 kilos is not lightweight and jumping straight from, you know, 25, this was basically the end of me. So ideally, I, I, I had a choice. I could either go up to like 55, 60 kilos today. Um, so when I get up to my low reps, I would, or I could go... A little bit more and push myself with slightly heavier weights on the heavier um you know on the heavier sets so i was like on sorry on the high rep sets so I, that's what i did i went for heavier weights on the high rep sets and now you see me here with 45 kilos i, I was supposed to get 10 reps but i only managed eight over here which is cool because i was still in my um muscle building phase so i was like you know what i'll repeat this again and just try and get as much as i can now my rest break was quite minimal as well too with a minimal rest break it allowed me to basically keep that tension on the muscle and really push out the struggle because ideally i just did 
have 18 reps of 40 kilos. 45 kilos should not be that heavy for me, but it was challenging and it was good. And I love that, you know, keep that rest break shorter. Look at that, right? That literally took forever to come up and start. But this just she goes to show you the different ways you can challenge yourself while you are lifting. You know, sometimes it is better to take more of a rest break and lift heavier weights, but sometimes it is actually ideally good to get some, um, you know, minimal resting and pump it out. Now, this is one of my favorite rear delt exercises behind the back rear delt raise. I absolutely love this exercise as well too. And what we are trying to do is target our rear delt. So the little small muscle, mine are small anyway, uh, behind our shoulders. And the next take is actually going to be a little bit closer in. So you guys might be able to see a bit more as in what's happening there. and But we are supersetting this or combining this with some reverse flies as well. So Royce in the rear delts for this 12 reps and 12. And yeah, this was quite intense. I could really, really feel the burn. So the next set over here, um, my camera didn't record it too well, unfortunately. Uh, it was supposed to be a little bit closer in, but I think I messed up a little bit. But you guys get the point. <laughs> uh, bringing the weight up, okay, getting your rear delts in, then hitting a different angle with some reverse flies as well too. So this was actually really good. My rear delts were bent, and I'm not going to lie. See me pause for one second. Woo! That, honestly, that really, really challenged me. And I love doing rear delts. It's one of the biggest causes of lots of problems in our bodies because we don't train as often. So uh, being an antagonist muscle to our front delts, it was really, really good because I've been doing lots of pressing movements. So with that being said, there was absolutely no uh, front raise today with my training. So I didn't isolate that as well because I've been bench pressing, I've been shoulder pressing, and I was like, look, I'm going to be hitting my front regardless and so much. So I chose to cut them out. Of the workout instead uh, and you gotta work with balance you gotta work on what you're lacking all those things are very important when it comes to training and also customizing your training for yourself you know i'm not the same as you know kojo who's you know got stronger rear delts you know everyone's different everyone's got things that they gotta work on so i think it's one of the things you guys gotta really focus on after you've moved over from a beginner stage to an intermediate or advanced stage, you're going to start to almost pinpoint the things that you need to work on sometimes, and you're going to have to customize your program into that. Now, this is an interesting one, okay? Uh, I didn't go too heavy. You guys will usually see me go very heavy on this workout here. I didn't go too heavy on the Smith machine here, and it's all my, my main focus was just getting my hip extension out. Okay, I just really wanted to hip thrust away and feel my glutes burn. So I was doing five reps, pausing for about five seconds, and then five reps again, and then doing that for five sets. And this was a massive burn. Like, you could really, really feel those glutes work. And I didn't want to go heavy because I didn't want to put too much pressure on my lower back over here. So for me today, like I did deadlifts yesterday, uh, for me it was all about just, you know, feeling those glutes burn. And then finishing off with some nice little pulses to keep that tension on the muscle there's nothing better than some good pulse reps so going for 12 reps and then holding it up and this is like excruciating pain in your glutes so if you guys haven't tried this uh before i guarantee you that you would literally be screaming while doing this even with lightweight it doesn't matter the weight so this was one of the biggest highlights to my workouts to be honest even more of a highlight than 170 kilos again thank you so much for joining me i appreciate you guys your boy is out don't forget to turn on post notifications peace